Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Beyond the Steel Sky and our search for any leads on the missing children. Yes, yes, yo, we hold on, hold on. Right, so last episode we left off at a situation where I sort of gave up on everything. I uh, didn't really know exactly what to do, and it felt like the sort of probably, you know, easy solution escaped me a bit. So, uh, what I've actually decided to do, and you were twins. That's interesting. Uh, what I've decided to do is basically to reset everything here. That is to say, to uh, sort of the position where we were in the very beginning. So, for example, I haven't reset the door. The door is as, uh, as it was before. But everything else, all of these things that I've... <laughs> Uh, changed about etc etc which means that the uh, cafe terminal now doesn't just automatically spawn a spankles can I mean for crying out li loud I have 20 spankles cans right now I don't need uh, 20 spankles cans Please, let me just tell you I Please. don't need that much in doing my little reset thing I actually stumbled upon a different thing so we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what I can do with that. I had to uh, give one sort of answer to that little thing. We'll I'll showcase it in just a second. So let's uh, let's uh, do let's redo everything, so to speak. Which is which is to mean that we need to fix the door because we need Reginald in there to be able to actually you know get out. So let's make sure that he's able to get out. So let's, let's do that first, and then we have to Hooray. fix the uh, the music. So let's uh, get out here. Because here's the thing: I think that the solution is pretty damn easy. It's just that there's there's like there's like one thing that I'm missing here. Because obviously I need to get it either into her portable music device, or I need it to be on the cafe just just the cafe audio system. It's possible that I don't actually have to get it to her, but on the other hand, I sort of imagine that I have to get it over to Tarquin. Like, it doesn't... It, it, it's not enough to just uh, hear it myself. I need to actually you know, bring something over to, uh, to Tarquin. So, Reginald is out. That is what we wanted. Now, what I would like to do is to switch out the alarm from the vandalism the sensor of the Spankos uh, Cafe Terminal. So we're gonna change that over. So apply that. Done. Then back out because she hasn't moved, sadly, and you are probably gonna block me. Wait, no. Didn't do that. Beautiful. So let's uh, switch back the music so that Reginald is a-okay with a life. He's not gonna be though because there's gonna be an alarm when he tries to get back. So here we go. So now this little guy comes. Right? And this is what I was talking about. This bot here. Remain calm while I scan the area. Totally calm. Yeah, I'm totally calm. Any information on the cause of the alarm? So what I've uh, been selecting is just Reginald here. I'm gonna keep I doing that. I saw that poet messing around earlier. I shall investigate. I recommend you keep a distance from the subject. You may go about your business. Yes, I will. And at this point, we're actually unable to uh, leave, which is sort of what I'm expecting is the actual solution, sort sort of. So what we can do, and this is sort of what we did before, is to switch over his uh, private poem here over to the shout droid here. Now the problem, and this is where I'm stumbling, is that if I do that, then what? Then what I what do I do? Because I can't get it from the shout. Oh, come on. I didn't go. I didn't go that far out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, let's keep going with Reginald for now. I think I shall investigate. Might be that uh, some of the other choices might be actually okay. So we have to sort of keep my distance here. Because yeah, that speaker robot doesn't move, right? It, it at least feels as if it doesn't move. It's just here. Yeah. 
Even though the alarm stopped, I think he's just gonna remain here. Right? You? I think everyone else can move about, and I can't. Yeah, okay, th there we go. So you do that. But it doesn't move closer to this. So it almost feels as if this actually isn't a solution. I mean, doesn't that sort of make sense? Question is though, okay, come on, move up, move, move away. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that while he's moving away. Yeah, there we go, thank you. Now the thing is, I can... I have the shout, right? Uh, now I can move... Like, where, I mean, hmm. I can move the private pole. Let's see, okay, that's what I can do. I can move the uh, announce information over to the private poem. But I've done that, and I don't think that that was the solution. That is the issue here. So, what if I switch these then? So now that the alarm is detected, he will actually recite the poem. He won't move, right? He'll, he'll still be here. So let's try that. So now, speaker robot. Small loudspeaker robots were now in alarm. Yeah. Let's get the alarm going one more time and see what the speaker robot does. There we go. So I'm getting the I'm getting the poem, right? But uh, again, this. Yeah. Again. The robots worked as one sees alarm bots as a side gig. Yeah, but the small loudspeaker robots were now in alarm mode. As I said, this is not the solution. This is not the solution, obviously, because we would have gotten a little cutscene. But that's not the thing, and. Uh, what else? I mean, here's the thing. What else can I do? I don't get this. <sighs> what else can I do that would sort of fix this situation? Well, let, let's have it like this. Let's uh, keep everything as is. Let's talk to this droid again. All right, Citizen Graham. To see you. Please remain calm. What if I plead end. ignorance? Do you have any information on the cause? What does on? that do? I didn't see a thing. Very well. Do not panic. Minus will soon relate to me the identity of the culprit. Incident logged. You may go about your business. Okay. But I can't move, right? Well, I can't, actually. But I can't do anything with you. And, okay, so I'm actually out. Well, let's... Oh, okay. Totally... <laughs> Okay, let's plead Ingress again. He's gonna log it one more time, I guess. Uh, okay, so it's just as soon as we're around here, that's just gonna keep going. Because the thing is, I can't be close to this and to the shout droid. And I would assume that's the case even if I'm here, right? Or if you move it back a little bit, what happens then? Can I, can I cut to you? Because you do move away a little bit. Oh, that's that's. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Get get back! No, you didn't move back that time. Come on, move back. This should be close enough, right? If it moves away, let's uh, let's hang out here a little bit. See if you actually move away. Come on! You moved away several times before. <laughs> come on, so I'm. Not close enough to it right now. Don't, don't try to open the door in the original. Just chill a little bit. Chill out. Let the shout droid move away so that I can see if I can reach it. Again, this feels like a stretch. Why aren't you moving away now? You did before. Now you're just chilling there. Oh, come on. Yeah, I... I I don't think that I'm going for the right solution here, but uh, I still want to see. I still want to see if I'm at least a little bit right. Come on. 
Oh. Jesus. Moved away before. I should totally be able to get it if uh, if that low droid decides to uh, actually move away. As he has done before. Come on. Just move. <sighs> you are not moving. Come on, speaker robot. Move. Robots worked as one CU's alarm box as a side gig. And who's one CU? You're two CU. Who's one CU? Yes, I can't fix the door in any meaningful way because then it's just gonna go away, which means that I'm not gonna be able to make it over here. That is sort of the reason why I think that this isn't the solution because the game is sort of you know, making it difficult for me to do the thing that I would like to do. But yeah, not, not, now you're just standing here. Okay. Again, I'm really curious as to what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to use a hint. I really don't want to use hints. I've already used one, and also, you know, in the very first video, and... A little bit in a second as well, just looking at it. <laughs> a walkthrough. I don't want to do that. But I can't... Okay, fine, we have one more option here. What if I say it is me? Let's click forward here. Let's uh, confess. What happens? Okay, so talking to that one, that didn't really do anything. Okay, well, I mean, again, the, the shout uh, droid is obviously the solution here. It's obviously the solution. Uh, 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 uh. Well, okay, fine. Let's uh, let's let's uh, say that we're we're okay with it just being on the uh, shout here. Approaching location, he will start reciting the poem. Let's do, let's do that. Okay. No more alarms. You can get in. Yes, the rabble. Actually, you're actually shielding out a little bit here. Uh, come on, come on. Stand here. Oh, 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 oh. No, I was not able to get to that one. No, he's too, too fast. But, okay, let's uh, start following this guy around. Let's start following this guy around. See what he does. The city yeah. Upon the robot didn't quite know how to handle this new data. Okay. That doesn't really help, now does it? Can we do anything with this? Uh, we actually do have... Okay, what do we... Switch it over here then. What does that do? Yeah, okay. Well, would you know? Interesting. That might have been a solution. Or is it? Let's see. Hey, got a minute? It is so good to see you, Mr. Grundy. Okay. Don't have any choices to, you know, use the poem here. Uh Okay. Well, let's let's ask the I don't think that I've talked to this one yet. Have you heard anything about missing children? Oh my. That's above my pay grade. Are they social climbers? No. They were taken into the city from the gap. Well, I certainly wouldn't have had anything to do with that. Well, I didn't say that you did. You sound just like that cafe droid. Barry? That's the one. Are you related? We did come off the same production line, and we do indeed have identical voice units. But I am nothing like that no-good, rusty, two-faced vending machine. Wow, I didn't realize droids could feel such emotion. Oh, I only have one emotion. Happiness. Well, good on what you. What do you do here? My name is Hollow, and it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. And what are you serving? Well, social climbers can bring their Aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun? It's a real parade. Now I see what we're doing. So let's ask a little bit more about him. So you change people's aspiration brooch? Only if they ask me to. Sure. How do you change it? First, my customer places their aspiration brooch here in the machine slot. Then, through me, 
they can choose which hologram they'd like the brooch to display. And you put it on the brooch? Now you're getting it. Sounds simple enough. Foster is a little bit slow at, at times. Or he just wants people to be really, really, really clear about what they're saying. But yeah, we've got the solution. Man, I'm happy about that. What can you tell me about the council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. <laughs> However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. So, let's uh, let's help me out with the brooch here. What is an aspiration brooch? Oh, come on, Foster, you are... To Union City's wow. Climbers. You know what it is. Council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers. Such as the old history exhibit in the Museum of New History. It also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. Well, I didn't really need to know that. I just need to know if you can help me fix uh, my brooch so that it displays that poem. So only social climbers get given these aspiration brooches? Correct. This is really besides the point, Foster. Come on. Here at my stall. Now, so um... Only social climbers get given these aspiration brooches? Correct. And those brooches can be customized here at my stall. So apparently we, we're not asking you for that, then. If you want that aspiration brooch customized. Yes, I do. So how do I do that? Brooch slot. Right, fine. Uh, brooch, uh, that's the one. I'm wondering where we're going to use that uh, valve that we picked up. No idea. Now, step two. Time to choose your favorite hologram. Do they do anything different? Oh, no, sir. It's purely cosmetic. Once you've made your choice, you'll be all set. Please choose your desired hologram. I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> Again, Foster, sometimes he's dense. He's a dense man. Or rather, maybe maybe it's a game that doesn't really... I don't know what it is, but maybe, here's the thing. These, these, these choices doesn't exist, it's just a poem. He should know, because he's looking at it, so how... I don't... He, he asked the droid, if, is there a difference between them? When there's three exactly the same things displayed. <laughs> Let's go with the uh, Joey one then. It'll have to be the Joey hologram for me. I just love him so much. Wonderful choice. You'll stand tall above your fellow citizens. There, your aspiration brooch is ready to collect. Thanks. Okay. Calling all social I now had Reginald's poetry there we go. on my aspiration brooch. Just what Tarquin was after. Indeed, so let's uh, head back to Tarquin. And hopefully he will accept it and then give us uh, our tickets to Aspiration Day, the gala. And uh, what were we supposed to do at the Aspiration Gala? Hmm. <laughs> we'll see if I can remember that. Obviously, where we need to go, but whatever. Right. Let's uh, let's head back home. Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. And we're off. But yeah, I actually am wondering what was I supposed to do at the gala? What, what does the game say, by the way? Uh, get into the aspiration gala, but why? What what was my goal for getting in there? Was I supposed to talk to someone, or <clears throat> am I? Man, I don't remember. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be a surprise. Got a minute. Apologies if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. Good day. I got some poetry for you. Any more poems? Oh, of course. Oh wait, that was the wrong choice, obviously. Well, we can listen to one more of his poems. Humans closer together. It interlaces the brain-altering ingredients of spankles with the first one hundred digits of the square root of two. Sounds like a hit Wouldn't already. I just be zeros? <laughs> well, actually, no, never mind. 1.414213562373. Flavorant toxicity. Potassium benzoate 09504880168872. High fructose. I think I get the idea. But there are 13 more verses. Oh, Foster, let him finish. It's got something for everybody. 
Monosodium! Save it for the gala. Don't want to spoil the show now, do you? Right. Yeah, that was a good poem. Right, I got inspiration. That is what I'm... That is what I'm here. I found you some inspiration. Bravo, sir. And where was it? It's always in the last place you look. Would sir care to share? Absolutely. Here you go. Oh, sir. What an assembly of words. This will have the humans sitting with their backs against the backs of their chairs and their arms upon the armrests. <laughs> this is sure to conjure heightened emotions from Master Reginald when one reads it. Oh, you bet. I don't want to find out which emotions. Thank you, sir. Now, may one bestow upon sir a token of gratitude. Only if it's a ticket. If by that you mean hand me a ticket to the gala, then yes. One does indeed. Thank you, Tarquin. And best of luck at the performance. No, sir. Thank you. This will be a night to remember. Oh, there is one small issue, sir. What's that? Of course. I do believe your attire is somewhat inadequate for the soiree this eve. Perhaps I can find something for you. That'd be most appreciated. I was actually thinking a little bit about that. That uh, this dress probably doesn't cut it, and probably not a work dress either, but we got some red and shiny here. Ooh, party clothes. Let's wear them immediately. No, that's snazzy. Oh yeah. Looking sharp, Rob. Right, well we've... That's a very interesting dress. Very interesting. Right, let's uh, probably go... Should we go talk to Songbird, see, see what she says? Will she be impressed that I have a ticket, or is she not even here? No, she's not even here. She does not care about that at all. Or rather, she's probably already at the gala. Is that uh, what we're supposed to believe here? I guess. I'm really glad that there wasn't any, you know, <laughs> super long chain here of events to uh, get me a dress either. Torquin is a nice fella. He, he gave me that dress very... Ooh, it's a very, very fancy dress. Let's talk to the Torquin and see if he, he is okay with this. Got a minute? Apologies if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to me. Whatever. <laughs> Have a good day, Mr. Grun Day. That'll never get old. Right, so with that, I believe it's. Oh, I like he... Oh, okay. So Songbird is here. You changed clothes. What's the occasion? Going to the party. The Aspiration Gala. You really think they'd let you in? I'm on the guest list. Tarquin sorted it for me. Oh, Tarquin sorted it for me. Well, you'd better be on your best behavior. <laughs> the world still thinks you're Graham, and I don't want any trouble. Oh, I never cause trouble. Ever. What does a Gaplander want with a party anyway? Ooh. The missing kids. I think the people responsible mm -hmm. will be at the Aspiration Gala. Okay, that is true. New rule. No crackpot theories until after the party. <laughs> and hurry up or we'll be late. Well, I mean, why are you waiting for me? Ooh, party. The aspiration gala. There's like Isn't no one here. Wonderful. <laughs> There's like no it's I'm I've dead. So hard for this moment. Do not ruin it for me. We'll be on our best behavior. I mean, it's basically empty. Are we like the first to arrive? Oh, not, but you know. Well, it is fancy. You gotta give him that. As I stared at the opulence of this Aspiration Gala extravaganza, my eye was caught by a movement Ooh. on a walkway. That's sneaky. Had to be the people that I was looking for, the people who would lead me to Milo. How did you make that association? <laughs> Get up to that walkway and find out where they were going. Okay, so that's uh, the goal then. Get up to the walkway. Where? Ooh, canapes. It looked pretty tasty, but I was at the party to find answers, not snacks. 
You still treat yourself. They really were fancy sandwiches. The crusts had been cut off. Oh, what, what, what's? What can I use? Can I? Yeah, toss some s s hot dogs there. As much as I loved Wendell's mini K, I oh. <laughs> think this fancy party was the right place. I guess it's the, it is something that I will have to do. Interesting. Okay, so it's gonna be something here. Uh, okay. So, 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 we need to get up on the behind place here. So let's uh, start making our way down. Ooh, welcome. Thought I clicked the sign, but I think that I just went a little bit too far down. Ooh, hey. She, she was in a hurry. Or was she? Is that her? That's a girl, right? Raquel or Rachel? Ra Raquel, right? She knows me. I should be able to get in. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to check this. I hope this welcome sign was better maintained than the last one I'd seen. Okay, so what happened there? Why did Songbird bump into me? That's kind of weird. But okay, we need to get up. Uh, exactly where did I see? Oh, okay, more more stuff happening. I'm very sorry, Mentor Alonzo. I don't know what happened. It won't do, Astrid. Won't do at all. This is the Aspiration Gala, after all. Yes, sir. Of course. And you said you believe the firework projector was tampered with? I'm not entirely sure, but it was working perfectly during the rehearsals. Regardless, I trust that the issue really is now resolved, and that you'll be keeping a closer eye on things from now on. Oh, yes, sir. And you won't have to keep leaving your station unsupervised. Absolutely not. You can count on me. Now, back to work. Hmm? Okay, so Mr. the lead Crumb. here. What a pleasant surprise. Of course, Aspiration Day always does deliver surprises. It's all about who you know, isn't it? Indeed. I'd be very interested to find out more about who exactly you know. Right. Well, we can't say anything about Tarquin here, so that's fine. Do I want to ask him about the suspicious behavior? Hmm. Let's ask him about the party. So, what are you doing here, Alonzo? I'm here to supervise everyone's well-being. Like Officer Arana? Officer Arana was in charge of the preparations. I'm here to make sure the event itself runs smoothly. Sounds like a tough gig. It won't be. Things never go wrong in Union City. Ever, ever. Enjoying the party? The Aspiration Gala never fails to put a smile on my face. And I look forward to Reginald's poetic display with undiluted pleasure. His past efforts have always been so amusing. Very smug smile on your face, I would assume. How's it all going, Alonzo? <laughs> Come on, Foster. <laughs> As expected. These questions, Let's man. Keep it that way. Yes? Sure. What about Rana then? What's she doing today? Is Officer Arana coming tonight? Why do you ask? Are you in need of well being support? He loves her. <laughs> no, no, I just assumed she'd be here. Well, as a matter of fact, she was here a moment ago. You must have just missed her. Where did she go? I have no idea. Ooh. A busy little Suspicious bee, indeed. One. Could that be uh, who was actually on the walkway? I was wondering if you'd seen any odd behavior at the party. Odd? Suspicious how? You know what? Never mind. Sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> no bother, Mr. Grundy. But I must warn you. If you've observed any suspicious behavior, you must report it to the relevant authority immediately. Understood, Mentor Alonzo. What he said. <laughs> okay. Let's just say bye. I don't know why I turned my back on him, but whatever. Man, I, I love the voice actor for him. Mr. Grunda. Okay. So the control box, what does the control box do now? This is just a sprinkler still then. Yep, still, still, still sprinkler. No fireworks here. Uh, can we use the elevator? The mysterious figure had gotten upstairs somehow. Yeah. I'm sure that if I could get past the technician and snoop around, I could give chase. Yeah, but we're probably not getting up this way then. See so you at the technician. 
I'm gonna use this. Hello? Is everything okay down there? So, what about the fireworks? Come quick, the fireworks are going crazy. They look perfectly good from up here. Aw, that, that didn't work. And then do it up again. Something has gone wrong with the fireworks. You and I have a very different idea of wrong. So that's not gonna fly. I need to get up to that control room. It's an emergency. There isn't even a toilet up here. <laughs> so what about the... Uh, okay, we can actually ask that one more time. Can I see the control room? Canopies are downstairs, sir. Um, apparently one more time. Can you let me up to there? Sorry, sir. Staff only. No, nah, not anymore. I mean, when you get these sort of repeating choices and there's just... That's just flavor, flavor dialogue. I mean, okay, fine, it's interesting, but it's a little bit over the top. How does the elevator work? Like an elevator? But it's staff only, not for guests at the party. So now we can keep talking about the elevator. Can you bring down the elevator? Not unless I'm coming down with it. And I need to keep an eye on things up here. Right. Actually, never mind. Okay, bye. Uh, could I do anything with the intercom? Uh, no, just a hollow advert outside, which has a uh, load advert fireworks. Okay. So the the hollow ones have fireworks right now. Okay, so we're not going to do anything in here. That is obvious. So what do they show now? Ooh, aspiration day. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So what are our options? Uh, do we need to get up there? Because, yeah, where did, he, where did he see something? Wasn't it, like, up there? I mean, I wouldn't assume that I have to, like, walk on this, right? Can I, like, use this? This is, uh, this does not prove me with a option. So, we're most likely not going to be down here. And I would assume that Joey, Joey? would be a help here. Yes, see? <laughs> yes, see? Uh, so... What can you tell me about the shadowy Who people? Who do you think those people were? What? You mean those two monkeys climbing the side of the building? <laughs> no idea. But I think if you're here looking to uncover something sneaky, they're the best example of sneaky I've seen. Can he, like, go check? If we don't hurry, we're gonna lose the trail of those two people who went up the building. Yeah. How do we get higher? Well, you Exactly. Can <laughs> Let me rephrase. How do you get higher? Let's keep thinking. Yeah, whatever. That Alonzo sure doesn't like me much. I don't know about that. He seemed to be smiling the whole time. Remind me to teach you about subtlety one of these days. <laughs> We're exactly where the message said to be. The Aspiration Gala. Oh, that's right. So Never mind. The, the, the message. That's, message. That's it. I don't think Graham was cordially invited here to try the canapes. Me neither. We need to get after those people. They've got to be Graham's contacts. What do you think of this party? Man, not enough explosions. Since when do parties have explosions? Oh, <laughs> I forgot we travel in different circles now. <laughs> I feel so out of place at this Interesting. Party. You should. I don't think anyone here aspires to be more foster. They not should. Me, on the other hand. How do we get into the control Yeah, how room? do we get into the control room? We couldn't last time we were here, remember? We created a distraction, and the officer came down to us. Hmm... <laughs> hint, hint. So, to get into the control room, I'm thinking about your distraction idea again. Oh, you are a clever one, Foster. Whoa, 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 Foster. I'm not setting myself on fire again. <laughs> not you this time, Joey. Something Set else? Something else on fire? Yeah. Not all distractions involve setting things on fire. No, but the best ones do. I agree Let's with you, Joey. to it. Wow, party! Oh, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's in it. Yeah, back to work. Right, so let's uh, talk to Raquel and see if she allows me up into the final platform. Because that appears to be the only thing that we can do anything with right now. And Songbird is gone. So let's talk to Raquel. I can examine her. Raquel, yeah. Apartments. Apparently I can give her something. I would assume that my... Yeah, I don't have the Aspiration brooch anymore. Hey, ha have some spankles. Much as I do love a can of spankles, sir, you can't bribe your way into the VIP section. What if I want to get in there? Let's talk to her. Hey, Raquel. Good to see you. 
Sir, and you are... Graham Grundy, remember? Have we met before, sir? It was odd. She really didn't recognize me. Well, sure, at the apartments. You nearly fell? No, uh, I'd definitely remember something like that, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, I... <laughs> well, she, doesn't she even... Oh, yeah, she went to the... Uh... This is a the thing I don't remember the name of, but like yeah, she she was assimilated, as you say. That you don't have access to this area. I'm so sorry. Enjoy the rest of the gala. I had no need to enter the VIP section. I was here for the okay. meeting. Well, you say that, but uh, oh, come on, <laughs> get stuck in another guy. I mean, you say that, but uh, what other choice do I have? Technician was supervising the fireworks. Maybe I could use them to draw her out. Okay. Where are the fireworks displaying? Can I <laughs> access them from here? No, I absolutely cannot. So I would assume that this uh, thing of a jig is going to be my solution here. What do we have? Ooh, did we have something here? No, 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 no. So just a hollow adverse. It's making noises as if I'm <laughs> connected to something. We only have hollow adverse here. We have a vending machine. Uh, more hollow adverse here. I mean, it doesn't feel as if there's anything down here. More hollow adverts. Just checking that I'm not missing anything. Projection robot. Here we go. Isn't that interesting? What do you have? You have display projection fireworks. Well, isn't that an easy solution then? No. Let's do. Oh, 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 I got a lot of stuff here. Uh, hold that word. Aspiration day. There we go. Buy that. There we go. That should now. Firework projector. Now just showing aspiration day, which isn't bad, but it's not exactly what they would like to see, I believe. Uh, so question is, does it, is it enough, is it enough for that one? I figured the technician would be there in a flash. Like, are there more such, uh, projector robot things? We'll see if this is actually enough. Let's talk to her about fireworks again. Fireworks. has gone wrong with the fireworks. You and I have a very okay. good idea of rogue. They're working fine. Not one of them. <laughs> That's all. Bye then. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can find one more of those display robot things. Uh, not down here, so let's check upstairs then. Uh, nothing here. Let's uh, bring this up because it's easier to just spot. Spot them. Well, there's nothing here. And I absolutely screwed over one of them. Didn't I? I think I did. Uh, let's uh, move down again. You see what we have going on here. I mean... It's clearly not working. I'd hacked the fireworks, but the attendees didn't seem all that bothered. Yeah. I needed something more scary if I wanted to draw <laughs> okay. out the technician. Something more scary. Okay, whatever. Uh, well, I mean, there's nothing down here, is there? Because, I mean, if we have these two, we have, look, like, fireworks. Uh, what's the difference? Is there any difference? I, I haven't learned what the dotted line and the uh, not dotted line. Like, what's the difference between those? Obviously, I can't do anything here. Because the SS movable, movable, media data, media data. They look the same. I don't know, like, what, what would that change? <laughs> uh, okay, so I can't really do anything with that. So this is just going to display fireworks all the time. And... There's nothing else here, right? Uh, can Joey do anything about this? Now that I've done Joey? something. That's my name, don't wear it out. So, 
Okay, we can ask her about this then. Isn't this whole party exclusive enough already? Hey, isn't that your wife? Hey, Songbird! Come on, let's get back to work. <laughs> huh. Maybe she didn't see me. Aww. Raquel sure was acting weird. Weird how? I thought she was rather polite. That's what was weird about it. I'll never <laughs> understand people. That was a weird remark it. by Foster. Uh, okay, so we can't do more with this. We only have the Aspiration Day thing. I mean, we have, I guess, the Spankles uh, unit up here, obviously. So we could, uh, you know, start moving things from here, but we don't have any of these. These are still just uh, fireworks and aspiration day. Not gonna help us at all. This is probably gonna be exactly the same. Yes. I am a little bit curious at this point. Now, can I say anything to. Now, where is he, by the way? <laughs> where is the mentor? Yeah. Can I say something to you about this situation? How can I help, Mr. Grundy? Astrid. That technician. She is simply doing her job, Mr. Grundy. As am I, when I'm allowed to. Okay, that didn't help. The girl who was at my apartment building this morning? She's acting a little strange. Strange how? She seemed to have totally forgotten we met. Does she seem unwell? Trouble? Well, no, but... Then I don't see the problem, <laughs> Mr. Grundy. Everything looks perfectly in order to me. Yeah, I remember right. it's not a problem. Thanks, Alonso. Okay, so That's I can't say anything to him about the fireworks. Or rather, you know, lack of. I'd hack the fireworks. Yeah. The attendees didn't seem all that bothered. I needed something more scary if I wanted to draw out the technician. Okay. Well, I mean, we can turn the sprinklers on, I guess. The centerpiece of the platform. Uh huh. Can't do anything about that. What if I put the sprinklers on? Does that, you know, feels like a small thing to do, by the way. A hand scanner. Hey. I seem to seem to react from that. Uh, did he say something? And now walking here. Or is he just gonna turn it off then? That was gonna happen. Yep, he's gonna actually turn it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Grundy, if you could refrain from turning okay, on the whatever. sprinklers, but the tree looked thirsty. <laughs> I'm sure it can wait a few hours. Fine, whatever. Uh, I mean, I can hack that. I could. I mean, what if I... I'm probably gonna mess this up, by the way. Uh, let's try this. Let's use it. Yup. Put it on. Hack it. Switch it. Apply. Let's see you fix that. Oh, I fixed it. Oh, shoot. And he's okay with that, obviously, because that's now not working. And I can't move these. Okay. Uh, do we have access to the cleaning thing? No, we don't have access to the cleaning thing. It needs to be out if we're and uh, or if we're able, sh if we should be able to do anything about it. Well, he's coming now. Oh right, because okay, whatever. You're gonna reprimand me again. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. That's fine. Well, okay, so. She apparently thinks that, you know, this is okay. This is not apparently exactly the same as fireworks. And the vending machine, I can't, as I said, really do much about. Can I... I mean, what if I do that? You just have an alarm if people want to use it. Like if I uh, scan my hand. The one Oops. can a day limit didn't exactly support a thirst for spankles. I use it. Yep, here we go. Alarm. What's going on here? I 
he's he's pointing very angrily at it. What's the, what you're looking for now? How can I help, Mr. Grundy? Hey, he doesn't want to Thanks talk about much. that. She's extremely much in here. my way. <laughs> Just moonwalking a little bit. Okay, so you're now. Okay. Did he fix it? He did as well. Can you do that? Well, that's interesting. Let's uh, apply that alarm one more time. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, it's a little bit iffy with me. Let's see what happens when you move up. It's the last time I did it. Now we have an alarm. He's gonna move over immediately. He's gonna point at it a bit. Thank goodness you're here. Okay. So yeah, is he actually able to fix that then? Okay, I can't do anything with it right now. I would assume that that is not something that I can talk to her about, right? I also like that it sounds like fireworks. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can't say anything about that. Okay, I heard a gang gang, didn't I? We have a gang gang. It's a control. There's some way to access the side of the building. Maybe I could follow that strange figure. Uh, so what do we have here? Do we have anything here? Yeah. Okay, fine. I I missed this. This is speakers over here. It was a high tech sound system. Too bad these Union City folk didn't have any taste. Well, I mean that didn't really help. No, did it? So I can't do anything about that. Anything else to the side here? Yeah, I like. Hey, what? what? Whoa! Who who fixed my who fixed my <laughs> fixed my fireworks? Come on! Not supposed to be fireworks. Let's uh, let's change that back. Yeah. Okay. So, do people change these? Like, or do do the changes revert? some point I'd hacked the fireworks but the attendees didn't seem all that bothered I needed something more scary if I wanted to draw out the technician well I am fast running out of option here <laughs> or options you always just chilling down the stairs that's also okay so I can't see any at least not things that I can manipulate with this. And I couldn't really do anything else with this, right? Okay, so I have aim through. I can... I'd learn never to take out my crowbar at parties. Oh, but this time. Just this time around. Okay, so I can actually inventory this one. I suspected the projectors were water resistant. Oh, why don't you just try it? What about a mini-K? What I was thinking. Just throw, throw it in there. Uh, so what else? I don't have a choice. Okay, so it sort of feels as if I would like to pick something up. I mean, uh, the game didn't really allow me picking up any food stuffs, right? So let's uh, let's go up and check if there's anything I can pick up from here. And. Let's we'll see, because these are just canapes, canapes, yes. These are just all the same. Anything about the drinks? Nope, can't do anything with that. Same, same. We do have the sandwiches. I can apparently do, or should be able to do something with the sandwiches, but I can't really see what, and I absolutely can't pick they them up. They really were fancy sandwiches. The crusts had been cut off. <laughs> anything else here? Are there any things I can do anything with here? No, and apparently I can't pick them up, so that's, well, apparently not a problem. Uh, 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 are there any things here at all? Those are the fireworks. That's not working anymore. I mean, I would assume that we were supposed to stay here and not leave and 
find something else. That would feel a little bit weird. I mean, I guess I have. I mean, I don't think that there are stuff that I can sort of pick up at my apartment that would help me. Uh, nothing here either. Is this gonna be where we leave the th this episode off in the la same thing as we were in the same sort of way as we did the last one with not really knowing at all what to do? Sadly, I think that we are. There's really... Can't find something to do. Yeah, we have this tree. The tree was the centerpiece of the platform. So obviously we can do something with the tree. That would be nice. But uh, there's no options here for me to do anything. Other than, you know, turning the water on. But that doesn't really help. Because, you know, Alonso comes and just takes care of it. And, you know, turning on the water doesn't really feel as if that's a big thing either. Uh, what are... I don't really feel as if we have options here. The VIP gate, that's a locked one, so we can't do anything. Yeah, we do have a... Ooh. This hollow advert actually has VIP. Problem is, even though it does, which is very f cool, uh, I can't really move yeah even though that has that i can't really do anything i mean i can sh switch it so it's fireworks instead like so hey now there's no not vip anymore let's talk to her it doesn't say vip anymore what can i do for you uh ooh, i have a lot of stuff that i can okay so well we can talk a little bit more about her what fine are you doing here? i'm working this is my job had any trouble? It's hardly a tough crowd. So far, the only person who's tried to enter this section without a VIP ticket is you. You'll always be a VIP to me, Foster. <laughs> What's your job here? What does it look like? I'm on the doors. Makes a change from the roof. You know the technician upstairs? Oh, you mean Astrid? With a nice smile. We've never actually spoken. No. <laughs> so you wouldn't know how to get her downstairs for a sec. She's pretty dedicated to her job. Unless something goes wrong with the fireworks, she'd be there all night. Well, apparently not. So, you don't think Astrid will be leaving that room anytime soon? She needs to stay on top of all this whole firework display, so I doubt it. Those things can be quite dangerous. The fireworks don't look real. They're not even there right now because I've turned them off. We're not talking about that. Are you sure you don't remember me? Where would I know you from? You should be uh, remembering me from your near-death experience. Roof, crying, I saved your life. Any of that ring a bell? You'd think I'd remember that. You must be mistaking me for someone else. Not at all. Do you ever suffer from memory loss? Not as far as I know. But if I did, I wouldn't remember, would I? True. I'm not sure that's how it works. <laughs> well, sort of. You forgot about me for ten years, Foster. I didn't, Joey. Stop being melodramatic. Any chance I could get into the VIP area? Tarquin and I go way back. But you don't have a VIP ticket. I can't just let you in. You should aspire for that next year, though. Oh, sure thing. Really? <laughs> But I was looking forward to that whole poetry thing. Oh, you'll still be able to hear the poetry, don't you worry. And it's not starting for a little while. I really do hope that we get a little cutscene for that. Did you enjoy the Reflection Center? How do you know I went to Reflections? I saw you taken there by Arana. Arana? My friend, the well-being officer. Yes, that's her. Well, it was as good as ever. Euphoric, even. So what happened? What exactly goes on in Reflections? What? You've never been? Never. Doesn't seem like my sort of thing. You've got to do it. It's an unforgettable experience. And what exactly is the experience? Oh, an overwhelming sense of well-being. Just supreme happiness. A new perspective. Oh, it's so very therapeutic. 
That sounds amazing. We gotta check it out. We don't have time for that, Joey. It also sounds memory loss inducing, so probably not. Later. Enjoy the party. Okay, well that didn't really work. I mean, and what is this? St stop this display. Okay, fine. This now it has VIP for both of them. Well, that didn't happen before. Hmm, is that a thing? Is that a thing? Oh, okay. That actually switches around. Well, that's interesting information. That is interesting information. What do you... Yeah, see? We have different stuff showing on this. Well, 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 isn't that interesting? Okay, so you have... Th then we want to switch these out. I think. Well, actually, no. Let's uh, switch these out again. Like so. Let's see if I can get something else from you. That is... Uh, oh, what is... Nah, it's, there, there we go. Yeah. Can we trigger something else from this one? That is still Aspiration Day. Detected Fire Technics. That's also... Uh, that's the Fireworks one. That is also... Aspire. Are there not going to be any other... Just going to be these. What if I just switch these around? That... Change anything. So it's just showing those things. Aspiration and Pirate Technics. This doesn't change. Like that one upstairs. So this doesn't really help me the way I would have liked it to help me. So if I would be getting something else other than Aspiration Day or uh, or fireworks, like bug control or something like that, vermin control, then that would be useful. But it doesn't. Simply inspirational. Sure thing. Yeah, so this doesn't actually change. Now it's Aspiration Day for both of them, so it, apparently it only moves between Aspiration Day and Fireworks, and there's none other. Oh, there's... I didn't... I didn't see that button, by the way. I saw that now. Reset area. Could have used that before. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that now. Uh, yeah, okay, so that, they only... Okay, so that is probably what that means, that it actually switches between things. Which is interesting, but uh, for this specific hollow advert, it doesn't actually help me. Uh, this one also has uh, fireworks and aspiration. They can I assume that that is the only thing? That, oh, come on. Sometimes he is a little bit hard to get moving. Uh, so yeah, this uh, probably only switches between the same. Just more aspire thing. Creation day things. No changes that I can see, but yeah, this one actually does change. Now we have, uh, now we have a vermin warning. I would like the vermin warning to go up on that. But how would I do that? Because there is absolutely no way that I can move it. You know what, we're gonna put a cut in here, and uh, we're gonna have, again, just a uh, way for me here to sort of collect my thoughts about this. Is I... Come on, can I not get close enough to that one to move it? Am I really that far away from this? I mean, I'm closer to that one than I am to that one. That's a bit annoying. Come on. That is so weird that that's how that works. But yeah, okay, so you need to be close to this one, but not that close to that, that one. 
yeah, we're gonna put a cut in here uh, at the nice little party, and the next episode we're gonna try and figure this out somehow. Maybe I'll play a little for myself before we start recording, just to sort of check around a little bit more, see if I can find more options than uh, what I have right now. So, more about this in the next episode. For now though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.